What's up, everybody? This is Chris, otherwise known as Music City Driver. It is Monday, a dreary Monday, in Nashville, Tennessee, April the 2nd, 2018, about 11.09 a.m. I'm going in a little bit late to work today just because I had some stuff I had to deal with at home, and uh, so I'm just now heading into my day job. Got my destination filter out set to my work just in case I get a ride. But I wanted to go ahead and do my episode of Money Monday. This one's a little different um, because I didn't work that much this weekend, honestly. Um, Thursday, I did not work. Um, stayed home, watched the game, um, hung out with family. It's very important to have family time, and it's very important to, in my opinion, not drive if you don't feel like it. I know that uh, it's not possible for some people, um, so I do, I do feel very fortunate to be able to do that. Um, but I just wanted to put that out there that, you know, for whatever reason, you're just not feeling it that day. It's probably best that you don't drive, um, because that probably will bleed over into your demeanor, um, and the way that you talk to your customers, your passengers, etc. Um, and it could make for a less than optimal experience and you may get better, you know, worse ratings or something like that. So... I wanted to share a couple of things with you guys today. Um, I don't know if you guys watched my live shit, my live um, stream over the weekend, but I had a couple of unfortunate incidents over the weekend on Friday. Part of the reason I didn't drive on Saturday night just because I just was I was really tired. I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it Saturday night, so I did not drive Saturday night. So I drive, I drove, I didn't drive Thursday night, didn't drive Saturday night. I just drove Friday into the early morning. I got home about 5 a.m. on Saturday, and then I drove yesterday, and really the only reason I drove yesterday was, which was Easter, April 1st, um, I drove yesterday because I had a scheduled pickup on Lyft, and actually a really long scheduled pickup, it's one of the longest ones I've ever seen, it was from the west side of Nashville, um, around the Charlotte Pike area, it's a 70S Charlotte Pike. Um, all the way out to Waverly, Tennessee, which is out west of Nashville, even past where I live. So it was a, a good, like, $50, $60 ride. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take that. So I took that ride, went into Nashville a little early to get a few rides, ended up getting some pretty decent rides, and then the ride that I came out for canceled on me, like, maybe an hour before I was set to go over that way. Um which was, I guess it was fine with me. I mean, it's kind of a pain in the butt, but um, I got a $10 cancellation fee on it because Lyft scheduled pickups. If somebody schedules a ride, you accept it, and they cancel before the ride happens, um, they get charged $10 for a cancellation fee instead of the normal $5. So, and on Lyft, as usual, you get all of the fee instead of 25% being taken out on top of that from like Uber does, which I wish Uber would change that. But anyway, so... Um, I drove yesterday about 2.30 in the afternoon, something like that, till about, I got home about 7 or something like that. Maybe a little earlier than that. Yeah, because the Predators game was on, but it started early, like at 5 o'clock. I was listening to that while I was driving, and the game was not quite over by the time I got home. So I guess I got home about uh, 7, yeah, 7, 7.15, something like that. Sounds about right. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and go over the week's earnings. Not terribly impressive this week because, like I said, I only worked one day. But if you consider that I really only worked like maybe 16 hours, maybe 15, 16 hours, something like that, it's actually not too terribly bad. But I just, like I said, just had to take some time off. So, as you can see, Friday on Uber, I did 197.80. That doesn't count um, probably $60 almost in cash that I got. One ride that I got gave me $40. The very first ride I had, they were really, really drunk at 5.30 in the afternoon, and they were very apologetic, and I was like, look, it's not a big deal, you know, and they were like, here, I'm going to give you 20 bucks if you can, because where I was was on the opposite side of the street on Broadway. I always call people when I'm on Broadway, because you never can tell if the GPS is accurately putting them outside the bar that it says they are. So, most of the time, in my experience, it ends up that they're on the opposite side of the street. And it's very hard, once you get down on Broadway, to maneuver yourself to get to where you can pick them up easily. You either have to get them across and come to you, 
or you have to do a lot of maneuvering around and turning back around so that you can pull up to where they are on where they're on the passenger side. So, um, as usual, they were actually on the other side. They were right out beside Legends, which is right there where the Broadway strip begins. And I was actually on the opposite side, um, almost directly across from them. But they couldn't cross because the, one of the guys was so drunk that he couldn't even walk. He kept falling down. In fact, he fell three times um, during the ride. Uh, that sounds weird, but so he, when he got in, uh, they said he, well, actually, I guess he fell two times where I saw him. Um, he apparently fell at a bar. They kicked him out, got in the car. They asked me to stop at a gas station to go to the restroom. As soon as he got out, he fell. <laughs> then apparently he fell in the restroom. I didn't see that. Then he got back in the car, dropped him off at their Airbnb, and when he got out of the Airbnb, he also fell. So, yeah, I was really intoxicated. So, um, like I said, they ended up giving me $40, two $20 bills. And I I was like, look, you don't have to pay me this much to stop, you know? I mean, you know, they, the 20 bucks was fine. I mean, they wanted me to turn around. I did. I turned around, came back on their side on Broadway. They gave me 20 bucks for that. I, first, I thought they were, they were you know, just kind of lying. That happens a lot where people say, oh, yeah, I'll tip you or whatever. And they never do. But it really shocked me. They actually did. So, um, and then she gave, she wanted to give me $9 to stop for the restroom. And she put the $9 down here in my console. And I was like, okay. And then she got back in the car after they used the bathroom. She's like, do you still have that $9? I was like, um, yeah, here it is right here. She's like, well, give it to me, and I'll give you this. So I gave it to her, and she gave me another 20 I'm like, okay, well. So that was a really lucrative ride because it ended up, you know, the ride was like itself was like $15 or something. It was an XL ride. So um, anyway, so as you can see, $197.80. Um, and then I bled over a little bit into Saturday morning, $776. It's like two rides, I think. And then yesterday, I did $62.32 on Uber. Um, as you can see, I got $25 in tips on the app. Like I said, another $60 probably because I got like a $5 tip here, $5 tip there, you know, a dollar tip here, you know, I think it added up to about $60, maybe a little over $60 that I got in, in tips, cash tips. So if you add that up, that's about what, three, $343 and 51 cents on Uber. Not too shabby for one day's work. And on Lyft, uh, I did not have as many Lyft rides. Matter of fact, Lyft was really dead this weekend. And I'm honestly not completely sure why. Um, it could be a multitude of factors. It could be that there's a lot more Lyft drivers in the Nashville area now. It could be that there's just a lot less business on Lyft. Um, one theory that a friend of mine has is that most of the locals are the ones who use Lyft the most. And a lot of the locals had actually gone out of town to visit family for Easter weekend. It's a plausible um, explanation. But anyway, I got very few lift rides um, for the weekend. Uh, like I said, I had that one scheduled pickup that was going to be really long. It was really nice. So I've got 1,350 lifetime rides now on the lift. 4.9. I also want to show you guys something on my Uber I'm kind of proud of, actually. Um, my rating on Uber is the highest it's ever been, and my rating on Lyft, strangely enough, is lower than it's ever been. I think I have a 4.93 on Lyft out of 1,350 rides, and I'll show you my Uber one in a second here. But, uh, so, 115.38 is all I made. 115.38. That's 10 rides, 11 hours. Um, $15.33 in prime time, $5 in tips. I did have some driver referral in there too. So there's a, a subscriber to the channel that um, I'm not going to name them. I just don't know if they want to be shouted out or not. So I'm not going to name them. But uh, they did a few rides, I guess, over the weekend, maybe three. Um, I think it was $3.33 a ride. They get extra and I get extra if you sign up for the use of the links below. Um, it looks like the uh, camera has frozen up on me. Let me see if I can reboot that real quick. That's annoying. Sorry, that's annoying. So, um, yeah, somebody used my referral code to sign up for Lyft, which I really appreciate. Um, and it, it, I mean, it's advantageous for both you and me. So, 
when you do that because it's three dollars and thirty three cents a ride right now currently in the Nashville area. It may be it may differ according to city. Sorry, hit a pothole and knocked my phone to the side. But three thirty three a ride for me and for you is pretty lucrative, up to one hundred and fifty rides. So I think it's a total of five hundred dollars is what you get extra. Um, and it, it doesn't matter if you complete a certain number of rides or whatever, you just get it every ride you complete. So anyway, so one fifteen thirty eight there. So actually, I mean, if you end up looking at the calculations here, um, one fifteen thirty eight plus let's see, that's like I said, sixty dollars in cash um, plus the Uber earnings of two eighty three. I think it was. 283.51. That's 458.89 um, in roughly 15 hours. So, not terrible at all. Um, especially considering I only really drove one true night. I mean, I drove yesterday like for like four and a half hours. It's not really that much driving, really. Um, so, I think I did all right. So, um, but the thing I wanted to show you guys. Now, you'll see, you'll notice that my acceptance rating and my cancellation ratings are pretty bad um, when you look at these ratings. So I've got a 4.99. My cancellation rate is at 25%. Acceptance is 67%. It's actually the highest it's been in a while. I have a 4.99 rating now. It's pretty crazy. I never thought I would get back up that high. Um, I was at 4.96 for the longest time. Um, and then I was at 4.97 for the longest time. And then suddenly, within the last few weeks, maybe it's the way that they changed the rating systems with Uber, but I went up to a 4.98 and then a 4.99, like, pretty rapidly. So as you can see, I've done 2,430 lifetime trips on the Uber, 933 rated trips. And of those 933 rated trips, 910 of them were five-star ratings. So I've got 106 compliments and a ton of badges and all that stuff. Whoop-de-doo. Um... Excellent service is by far my biggest one. 37 of those. I mean, you know, there's a lot of them. 24 notes. Legend has it the greatest Uber driver of all time. Legends are true. <laughs> anyway, so, um, anyway, I uh, just wanted to show that off. I like having a high rating. Um, I like it. It makes me feel better, feel like I'm providing better service, etc., etc. So, anyway, guys, that is Money Monday for this last week. Hope you guys all had a good holiday weekend. Um, I had to work my day job on Friday, Good Friday, and um, I'm working my day job again today. Like I said, I'm going in really late today as compared to normal. So anyway, if you guys have any uh, comments that you want to add, uh, please add them below. If you are looking to drive for Lyft or Uber, you can use my links down below to do so. Um, Uber is probably not as good of a deal as Lyft in my opinion, just because of fact that on uber you have to complete a certain number of rides and then that certain number of rides actually adds up to you know if you don't exceed the amount that they give you for so many rides like 400 or 100 or whatever it is then you actually get the difference but most of the time it seems like people meet that the amount that's on there so they really don't get a lot of anything extra but on lyft you get something extra anyway so if you do you know, even if you don't do all the rides, say you do 100 rides and it's three dollars and 33 cents a piece, that's 330 bucks that you wouldn't have had before. So, and that's 330 bucks for me, which is a good advantage for me, and that's why I'm promoting it, just to be completely transparent. So, um, hope you guys have had a good weekend, and I hope you have a great and lucrative week of driving. If you're out driving, please be safe and buckle up, follow all the safety rules, etc. There are far too many drivers that I see that are not that don't obey the traffic laws, and I feel like they put themselves and their passengers and other drivers at risk all the time. So be safe out there. Um, I will talk to you again. I may make another video later this week. I'm trying to think of some other videos to make that besides the Money Monday thing. Um, like I said, I try to stick with the Nashville area just because that's what I know. That's my wheelhouse, my expert area, I guess you could say. So I feel like I need to make more of those type of videos. So. Um, I hope you guys have a great one, and I will see you next time. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this content. I'll talk to you later.